New year, new goals. One of the biggest resolutions people are wanting to make are regaining control of their finances in that new year and saving money. We've enlisted money-saving expert Bethany Hollers from clearance deals company BrickSeek.com to get tips on how to save big. First, think beyond your typical thrift store and go online to buy used. Don't forget the tech that's in the palm of your hand, your smartphone. Apps like Let Go, Offer Up, Facebook Marketplace is a great place to check for just about anything you can imagine. Playing it safe when you pick up your purchase is important too. For my bar stools, I met the people in a big retail shopping center. Always meet in a public place don't meet at nighttime. A lot of police stations nowadays actually have um, programs or designated spots even where you can meet up in their parking lot and do the trades there. Next, shop and compare insurance rates. I saved $1,700 off my annual premium just by entering in my information, putting in some info about my cars. It is such a simple way to save money. And there are other ways to save even more on your premiums. Maybe you're bundling your car insurance with your homeowner's insurance. Get a bigger discount by adding a few more things to your policy. Finally, our third way to save is to go with family plans. The average TV household spends $1,200 a year on TV services for about 200 channels, but only watch less than 13 of those channels regularly. So bundle wisely. With a lot of the online streaming services that are so popular nowadays, we'll see everyone in the family or maybe the extended family, maybe <laughs> friends. That's really the way that everyone saves money is when everyone remembers to chip in at the end of the month. Using apps like Venmo or Zelle are ways to make sure each family member pays their share of the bill. Bethany emphasizes what matters most of all is to start budgeting just one thing at a time. It can feel so overwhelming. And so break it down, make some small changes first. Give it a little bit of time so that you can see those changes taking effect and you can see that money starting to grow in your bank account and then move on to some of the bigger changes. So take control of your finances now and start saving big in 2020.